Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, let's take a look at the future of On One Photo Raw and we'll dive into a sneak peek of the latest version coming soon. So inside of the latest version of Photo Raw, it's all about speed and performance enhancements from browsing to cataloging, switching modules, brushing, retouching, everything's been improved. It's literally like trading in your old car for a new one. It's incredibly fast, much more powerful, and it just makes editing and getting to your photographs that much easier and that much faster. So let's jump into it. Let's take a look at some of those speed and performance enhancements in action inside the latest version of PhotoRA. We're inside of Browse, so let's first quickly create a cataloged folder. I have this My Photos folder here. If I navigate into it, I have a few different subfolders that contain different categories of photography. Well, what I want to do is I want to create a catalog folder with that main My Photos folder so that it contains all of these different subfolders. So let's head back into that location by just heading down to this new breadcrumb bar and we'll use this back arrow to quickly navigate back. So let's go up to this My Photos folder here. Let's just right click and to create a catalog folder with it, we'll just use this Make Catalog Folder option. Inside of this dialog here, I'm just going to use the standard size of previews here. And let's choose OK. It instantly adds that folder into my catalog folder section there. And it opens it up so that we can navigate through those different photos if we need to. Let's check out some of that speed and performance when we're using the browse module to browse through different images. So let's check out some of these photos that I took of Portland here. Just going to navigate into this folder. Let's open up a photo and I'm going to use the right arrow key on my keyboard to quickly browse through this group of photographs here. So let's just tap that right arrow key and we can see just how instant of a preview we get with these raw image files. It's super fast and it's super handy, especially when you're browsing through your folders and you want to find a specific photograph. So let's say we want to work on this photograph here. We've browsed through that group. We've found that photo in pretty much an instant. And now we can style it really quickly by either adding on a preset inside of browse, or we can head right into the edit module. Well, let me show you first just how fast those presets load now. So let's head into the presets tab here inside of the browse module. And let's head down to this black and white films section here. And let's just use a bit of a bright black and white look here. Let's use this one here. You can see how fast those presets loaded in the preview category. And it also loaded that preview style into that image pretty much instantly. So now that we've applied that look, I really enjoy that black and white style on the image, but I'm seeing that we need to maybe modify the look of the background sky. And I'd actually really like to add in a couple more filters into the scene. Well, let's head into the edit module here and watch as I click on the edit module before I even head over to the effects tab and check out these different filters. It's already loaded that photograph so I can just immediately get into the edit and I can immediately start modifying the look of my photograph or the style that I've applied to it. So now to modify that preset style, let's actually use a bit of brushing. The brushing experience inside of PhotoRAW has been completely revamped. It's improved, it's enhanced, there's no lag, there's no unexpected brush strokes, and it's just a breeze to use when you're modifying your effects tab, local adjustments, or you're painting in or out different layers. So let's just use our brush here to paint in a bit of detail into our scene. By heading into our effects tab, we'll add a filter. Let's use dynamic contrast there. We'll use our surreal style. I know it's intense here, but I really just want to showcase that brushing. Remember, we can always modify that opacity later on. So let's just go in here to our masking options. I'll invert that mask. And then just watch how smooth this brushing goes as I brush through and I paint on detail into the cityscape here. It applies that filter right where I need it to. There's no unexpected areas where it paints onto. There's no lag there. It's just much faster, much more fluid, and just a blast to use whenever you need to modify your image by painting in various filters or adjustments there. Let me just lower down that opacity there. Let's paint this into this section here. 
And that's how easy it is to brush in filters, adjustments, or even layers into a photograph. It's now a much more natural, fluid experience. But that's not to say that you can't use the AI tools in Photo Raw to do that masking work for you. Let me show you how fast it is to add in adjustments and filters using Super Select AI now. So let's hit K on the keyboard here to grab Super Select AI. Let me grab this water section here. I'll right click. Let's add in just a darker glow. And as soon as I select that, before I can again even head over to that filter, it's added in that mask already to that particular region there. What I want to do now is just go up and I'm going to feather the mask a bit to make sure that the edges are nice and natural. And just like that, we have that one particular region already styled. So now let's modify the sky section there. And rather than using Super Select AI, let's actually head into our local tab. Let's hold down this arrow key there and we can select which section of the image we want to modify. Let's choose sky there and let's apply that adjustment into it. Now I think we need to do the same thing here, go into the masking options and let's just feather that mask there to ensure we have a much more natural blend within the edges there. Now it's probably not the best edit in the world there, but I really just wanted to showcase the speed and the power within the features of the new version of Photo Raw, just to show you how quick it is in adding in different adjustments, different filters, brushing in different styles, and even just browsing for images and heading into different modules within Photo Raw. So be on the lookout for the latest version of On One Photo Raw. Thanks everyone. I'll see you in the next sneak peek.